Battle Beast, the merciless and competitive fighter, is the predator of the Invincible Universe. Predators seek worthy competition and fight entities across the universe. Similarly, the Battle Beast is also a bloodthirsty villain who is looking for the right one to take down in a fight. He has traveled across the universe stirring up trouble and looking for fights, and has made many rivals across the cosmos. Created by Robert Kirkman and Ryan Oddly, Battle Beast first appeared in the Invincible Comics, issue 19, and was also a part of the comics animated series adaptation. Let us dive into his origins and learn more about this competitive fighter in the Invincible universe. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The memorable first comic appearance. Battle Beast was first introduced in the Invincible Comics number 19 when he teams up with other villains to create havoc for Invincible. As the comic begins, strange things seem to be occurring in the Invincible universe as an unknown Martian lives among humans in a disguised form. On the other side of the city, Eve, who later becomes Invincible's girlfriend, breaks up with Wim, while Mark Grayson is also known as Invincible himself, finds himself having a long day. Mark returns home to find his mother drunk and is exasperated with her as he leaves for a date with Amber. As they meet up, Mark ends up getting a troublesome phone call and comes up with an excuse for skipping the lunch day. He leaves Amber behind at the restaurant as he switches to his superhero persona as Invincible. As he reaches the disaster site, he clashes into a supervillain, Titan, who stands in the middle of a pile of destruction, waiting for Invincible. Titan forewarns him that he's not there to fight with him, but rather, he wants to team up to go against the crime lord, Machine Head. Invincible consults with Cecil, a government official who is also an ally, and after careful consideration, he agrees to help Titan in defeating Machine Head. Invincible uses his flying abilities to transport them both, while Titan holds on to him and directs him to the place. They head to the Crime Lord's headquarters and instantly draw attention to themselves by crashing directly into the place. It appears that Machine Head was aware of Titan's plan to go against him. He reveals that he corralled an army consisting of six powerful supervillains to go up against Invincible and other guardians of the globe. Finally, we are introduced to the Ruthless Battle Beast, a legendary supervillain who resembles a lion and is a bloodthirsty killing machine. Besides Battle Beast, the team consisted of Machine Head Head's bodyguards, Magna Attack, who was known for his magnetism powers, and Kursk, a Russian supervillain who could use his telekinesis and other deadly electric powers to shock his opponents. The clan also included two powerful beings, Furnace and Magma Maniac, who could generate magma and weaponize it. Last but not least, the comics also introduced Tether Tyrant, an assassin with a strange addition attached to his body that helps him grasp his enemies and fling them around. Tether Tyrant sets his eyes on Invincible and launches into an attack on the superhero using his plastic appendages. Meanwhile, Magma Maniac Maniac battles with Titan, and a whole fight breaks out. As soon as Invincible manages to break free from Tyrant's grasp, he is cornered by Furnace, who shoots a magma blast at the superhero. Eventually, Invincible comes face to face with Battle Beast, who is no match for him with all of Invincible's powers failing to work on this beastly warrior. While the other villains take turns attacking Invincible, Cecil informs the other Guardians of the Globe, who soon arrive at the scene to provide additional help. These Guardians include Monster Girl, Black Samson, Shrinking Ray, Kate, and Bulletproof, among other superheroes. They all divide into pairs to attack the supervillains and defeat most of them. The only exception is Battle Beast. As the deadly villain defeated both Bulletproof as well as Black Samson, the duo ended up with many fatal injuries while Battle Beast remained unscathed. He is unsatisfied with the quality of superheroes and is still looking for more fierce and worthy fighters to fight against. Battle Beast eventually uses a teleporter to leave the scene as he goes on yet another adventure across the universe. After having fought off the clan of supervillains, the Guardians locate Machine Head, who has been hiding during the entire clash, and escort him away. Later, the young superheroes return home to find Eve, who has broken up with Wim and wishes to talk to Invincible about something important. On the other side, Titan has now taken up Machine Head's crime headquarters, as we learn that the day's events were part of his master plan to replace Machine Head as the crime lord. Battle Beast History and Origins We don't know much about Battle Beast's origins, except that he was a ruler of a distant planet. He single-handedly turned this planet into a utopia and was considered as a savior of the people. After fighting off many evils to make this planet a utopia, Battle Beast found himself developing quite a taste for violence. Since there weren't many opportunities to fight on his planet anymore, Battle Beast left the place to explore the universes. He was also known as Thought and was a fearful villain, and anyone who dared to go up against him ended up dying a painful death. His life purpose was fueled by violence. He fought against all species of powerful beings and emerged victoriously. Battle Beast looked for opportunities to be in active combat, which is why he joined forces with Machine Head as we've explored in the comics. He eventually ended up working with the Coalition of Planets Council, where he ruthlessly went up against superheroes and villains alike. He was also joining forces with the front lines in the Viltrumite War, which was arranged by the Coalition to ensure that Viltrumites were subdued before they become a major threat to the rest of the universes. Battle Beast killed many Viltrumites and even went up against their leader, Grand Regent Thrag. 
However, after a never-ending fight that went on for quite a period, Battle Beast was finally overpowered and died at the hands of Thrag. He was equally vicious in the Invincible TV series. Battle Beast Clash with Mark Grayson was also written into the animated Invincible series and is every bit as exceptional as the comics. Portrayed by Michael Dorn, Battle Beast's on-screen depiction was as vicious as the comic book character and was subsequently a massive hit with the audience. Following the same comic arc, Battle Beast joined Machine Head's troops as they go against the Guardians of the Globe. He goes up against Invincible himself and strikes the superhero with unimaginable vigor. Though Invincible is a powerful Vitramite, he is no match for Battle Beast, who relentlessly comes on to him. Battle Beast ends up hitting Invincible quite fatally, as the superhero's head explodes with blood and drips down his physique. In one of the most captivating scenes of the series, Battle Beast then licks the blood off Invincible's face before leaving Earth. He complains that he had not been offered any worthy opponents to go against, but has only met disappointment in the name of a challenge. Ordinary fights do not satiate Battle Beast's thirst for blood, as this vicious monster teleports away in search of more challenging opponents. What makes him such an unbeatable warrior? Battle Beast possesses superhuman strength and reflexes that make him quite a deadly opponent in any fight. His strength enables him to kill even the most powerful Viltrumites with hardly any effort. He can also endure most attacks without feeling much pain. With a physique that resembles a lion, Battle Beast also has superhuman bodily tissues that make him more powerful than others, as well as give him a towering height and bulky weight. His teeth are also modified into fangs that are sharp enough to pierce through his opponent's skin. He also has superhuman speed and stamina, making it impossible to lay hands on. On him. He can also fight endlessly for hours and even days without losing energy or getting tired. Along with his supernatural powers, Battle Beast is also exceptionally skilled at physical combat. He can throw punches that have the potential to injure his opponents fatally, and the Mighty Beast can also even wield weapons such as swords and axes. His combat abilities combined with his supernatural powers together make him an untouchable warrior. To sum it up, he's a crazed killing machine who does not hesitate to get himself involved in any battles and is one of the most powerful villains in the series. Conclusion: Battle Beast is a bloodthirsty, robust entity who goes out of his way to pick up fights and create chaos in the universe. He has fought against the most powerful superheroes and has emerged victorious with little to no effort. As for mortals, well, it is safe to presume that no mortal stands a fighting chance against this merciless fighter, and it is best not to provoke him. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.